Hello. Hello. What are we doing here, Ben? <laughs> you did it. We're um, it. we're talking about the new episode of Doctor Who, which is called The Legend of Ruby Sunday. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Did you like okay. it? I I I did. I did too. Good. It's nice for us to properly agree on whatever you saw once. Yes. End of the video. That's it. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Yes, I liked uh, it. It's nice to have a. It's been so long since I've watched a Doctor Who episode that has a to be continued cliffhanger, and I have to say I did sort of miss them. And I thought this one was great. Yeah, I mean, I. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was nice to have it to be continued and yeah. it feel like it needed to be continued. Yes, yes. How there is, there is more be? that needs to be done. Yes, how will they get out of this? One? Yes, there is. There are a number of things that popped up. Questions I have want of answers for. Uh, I suspect they'll probably be answered next time. I don't have to... I have, well, you know, I suppose that's a luxury of a part one, isn't it? Any issues we have could well be resolved next time. It's true. So, Very true. where do you want to start? Well... Actually, can I start? Well, no, because you just asked me how I want to start, and I've already decided what I want to ask. And okay. It's a very simple thing. Okay. What do you think the criteria is between whether the TARDIS decides it's going to fly in or it's going to materialise? <laughs> well, that's exactly what I was going to start with. Oh, OK, then. Uh, I guess it's whatever whatever the Doctor thinks is cooler. I don't know. I, it's, it, is I, it just being dramatic? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's just a visual thing. They could very easily have just materialised in. You could say Unit has a way to pick up, to, to sense when it's about to show up. You know, I don't yeah. know. There's the it. It was just to look cool. That's well, all it was. That is all. It but was. I'm not here for things to look cool, Ben. <laughs> I'm here for things to make sense, and that doesn't make sense to me and my <laughs> primitive man brain as to why yeah. it has decided to fly in this time. <laughs> I know it. It was just we need a cool opening for this episode. Materializing in doesn't quite do it. No, and I, I, you know, I can appreciate that. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. End of the day. Yeah. Um. Nice to see Rose back. Yeah. Well, I mean, we knew she was coming back from the teaser, so that's okay. Did we? Oh, I suppose you saw those. Did you? I saw. I saw, like I saw the, t- the like the teaser at the end was of the. Was she in episode. that? Yeah. Oh. Well, I like the idea that because uh, she says that she's doing it's just shoplifting stuff. Don't know why unit. Does that, but my sort of head canon is that um, it's just a cushy gig, you know, the unit's well, given her because Donna's insisted on it. It's it's very possible that there's going to be something of it at some point. The the, the solution to the big issue, <laughs> well, I'm not going to name, is is someone's shoplifted something. Wait a from minute, Catford. somebody shop, gonna... somebody shoplifted a, an ancient Egyptian text. Last What's week. this? It's another Eye of Horus. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, yeah. No, I, I, I made note of it because it feels like there's probably going to be something about it. That's No, I don't think there is. I think it's just a, a way to bring the character back, which I'm fine with. You see, I, my, my, I, own, my only issue is that she's there at the end when it's like necessary personnel only. Well, I suppose if you I don't know. if you have been if you've had the essence of a time lord within you at, at some point in a non smutty way, mm. you, you probably classify as as essential personnel, right? Probably, probably, probably. But but I mean, I I like to think that I'm getting good at knowing what's a throwaway line and what isn't when it comes to Doctor Who, and I I feel like there's going to be some. Some relevance to Catford later on, even if it's another throwaway line later on. That is not the last we hear of Catford. Maybe, yeah, uh, maybe. And shoplift. I, uh, it just, it just, it's weird that that falls under Unit's remit as well. It's probably, it's probably just a, as I say, it's probably just a job that they've given her, just so that she's technically an employee and technically counts for, you know, payment and benefits and whatever else she's getting. I can absolutely see Donna negotiating that. <laughs> Well, yeah, she's a Being she's the fastest jump in Tizic anyway, isn't she? So, so he's going to want to be very forceful about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, then. shall we move on? Yeah. Actually, no. I've, actually, oh. the fact that uh, Rose is in it again. Yeah. Um, 
led us to the question, how's your mum, how's your uncle? Yes. Obviously, Donna and one assumes David Tennant, 14th Doctor. Yes. But how's your granddad or great-granddad? Yeah. No, no reference to Will, who, as far as Doctor's concerned, is still alive hunting moles. Yeah, I... I yeah. Uh, but then you, I don't know. What do you do then? You, I guess you have an awkward throwaway line that says, yeah, he's fine. Well, I mean, you, or do you do you have that moment where oh he's dead and then okay let's have a little emotional scene we've got to, that I breaks think you up have the, the flow you, of everything. You have the little emotional scene because he had the little emotional scene later on, didn't he? He has these little emotional scenes at the moment in his doctor. So why why not have the one for someone who actually matters to the fans, right? Well, <laughs> let's maybe we'll have that later. I don't fucking know. We might. I I it just it seems like there was a time a specific time it could have been done. Maybe right. Maybe he's. I would, I would absolutely say, maybe, maybe this doctor isn't that fussed about them, really. In, in about Wilf, in although, in, in, but realistically, the doctor, I feel like any incarnation of a doctor who doesn't give a shit about Wilf, probably, you know, needs some words. I him. think you're wrong, and I'll tell you for why. Because okay, I'm, I'm still sort of wrapping my head around by regeneration, but Shooty Gatwa has lived David Tennant. The second's life, hasn't he? So presumably, it's not too much of a stretch to say that Wilf died while David Tennant the second was about. So Shooty Gatwa has already experienced that question mark. I'm not 100 percent sure that's how it works, but I don't really know. I think it is. I don't. I don't fully get it myself. That's my understanding. I don't know. That was just a way to keep David Tennant in your back pocket, really. <laughs> well, he reckons is Russell reckons he's got no plans for David Tennant. Oh, back. okay. Mean anything? Give it. He's not going to be showrunner forever, is he? Give it ten years, and David Tennant will be like, "Yeah, all right, I'll pop out for the Christmas special." Give it three, yeah. and then be in it twice as the tenth and the fourteenth. <laughs> I mean, we've talked. We've talked about the issues that are raised by this and that you know if the Daleks suddenly invade is is David Tennant times two gonna just chill is he gonna stay well, out of it you know it's wait, wait, wait. I feel that we are we're getting sidetracked wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah it raises issues but whatever yeah. what's done is done yeah um, um yeah yeah nice uh, we've got another returning character we've got Mel back we? we did uh, Yes, I do like Mel. I so you make no nonsense. Yes. This is good. Yes, sort of she like seems it. like the sort of gal who drives a moped. Mm. Um, I like the fact that Bonnie Langford, uh, I've, I haven't seen a lot of the classic Hugh, but, who, but from what I've heard, she wasn't particularly, uh, she was in it at a pretty rough time for the show. So mm. it's nice that she's getting a bit more life in the character. Um, that's pretty cool. It's always yeah. nice to see old old characters returning. I like the idea that Unit is sort of this uh, retirement home. You get your cushy cushy gig. You know, light hours, bit of adventure if you want it. But you've got you've got Unit for the ones that that want to relive part of the, the heyday. The glory days, yeah. And you've got the support group for those who want to get as far away from it as fucking possible. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I think I'd probably take like a a gig in, in unit. Just give me some oh, like, light admin work that pays like seventy thousand a year or something. But you know they've got booper healthcare, don't you? Oh this god, yeah. They. I wonder if if the other uh, people working in unit are a bit pissed off that the companions get such cushy gigs. I mean, it might be a fairly cushy gig for most of them, to be honest. Honestly, with you. I mean, it, probably, often, it probably is. To be fair, how often do you have a world serious event like that? Normally, it's just like fucking. Shoplifting in Catherine. <laughs> yes, we've got, you know. we've got a there's a an alien who keeps flashing little old ladies. We better bring him in. Well, Torchwood will deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it near Cardiff? Not our problem. It's not our jurisdiction. Yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, the fact that they've got a time window. I really uh, liked that scene. The whole the whole ten well, fifteen minutes. Of it. I liked, yeah, I liked the whole bit, including the setup bit. When the doctor asked yeah. if they've got a time window, and she says, "No, you expressly forbade us." It's like, of course they they yeah. they're gonna do their yeah. own thing. Like, yeah, sure, the doctor's saying this, but we have our own remit here. 
We're going to mm. cobble something together. You're <laughs> not always here, Doctor. Yes, it's, 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 it's Harry it's, Jones' way of describing this It's exactly it? that. It's, uh, yeah, we. you can say what you like, but we have a vested interest in having this sort of shit knocking about. Mm. Um, I and don't... it worked. It helped this time, didn't well, it? Yeah, I love that it was cobbled together. I, I did, and, I, and it's probably because it was cobbled together, but I found the controls to be a bit cartoonish. Well, the yeah. The giant levers and the <laughs> twiddly knobs. And well, I, 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 uh, I like the fact it was cobbled together because going into that scene was like, oh, okay, we're just throwing around massively powerful objects now, are we? But it's like, no, everything's really blurry. <laughs> you can't hear anything usually. Mm. Um, we saw the Declaration of Independence being signed, but all we could really make out was like the quill. Um, it was white. Yes. You, you'd probably know it anyway. I, I fucking yeah, thought it yeah. was white. Yeah. Um, so I like that. I like the way it looked. I like the way the flashback scene looked. I like the way that scene played out. Here's the thing, though. If you've got yeah. a piece of tech that is that rubbish in the grand scheme of things, you wouldn't have kept it around, would yes, you? Yes, you would have. Absolutely. No. No, because I mean, if, if, if they saw the Declaration of Independence being signed and all they could make out was for Quill, that is a worthless piece of tech, really. No, it's not. You've, you've... How can they be sure that's what they were seeing? Oh, okay. It's like, um, let me give you an example. It's like the first photographs. Okay. And then you say, oh, these are shit. Well, better give up on that then. No, no, there's a difference, I no, would there say, isn't. between... There isn't. There was absolutely a difference no, 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 between no. The f- having the physical <laughs> first photographs and having a machine that doesn't actually do its job properly. It does do its job properly. Just and it does it, really, how do they know? It's really scratchy, really, like, all, you know, this is something they've cobbled together. It's the, con- conceptually, it's fucking valuable as hell. You know, just because it's a bit shit, you don't give up on it. You, they're probably, t- they're probably if, tinkering about with it for decades trying to get, you know, it's been improved every now and then. If if it's oh, if it's not just a prototype and there's a better one that's still in the process of being made based on what we've learned from this one, fine. But... If it ain't that case, then they they should have scrapped it years ago. No, they're still they're still they, they've they've been working on this constantly. This it probably took them ages to get what they got, and that was a huge success. And they've probably been working on it repeatedly ever since. I I don't think you just scrap the entire thing. Well, I suppose not if it's government money. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Eddie, uh, if, it was, if, it, if UNIT was a for-profit organisation, then I'll tell you what, they'd have, they'd have, I'll tell you for why, they'd have fucking scrapped it you big re- time. Are you now advocating for privatising UNIT? Is that well, going? think of all these inflated salaries for former companions. All you have to do is flash a bit of paper saying, oh, I was with the doctor once. And that. you get a fucking cushy job. Yeah. What's that? Six-figure salary, is it? Oh, I'm telling you. Fifteen weeks holiday a year. <laughs> Yeah, dental. Personal masseuse. Great pension. I probably put like didn't Wilf get a house out of it? I think Wilf was living in like unit accommodation, so I think for a while, yeah. yeah. So it's but not point, just the companions, point, it's the companions' know. families as well. Yeah, but, uh, that's a fucking expensive thing. A number of um a number of uh Prime Minister well, I say a number, two. Two Prime, Prime Minister jokes. Yes. Yes. Did you catch Especially both the Prime Minister? Them? Yes, especially the Prime Minister. And, and then the dancing on the stage. That was weird. <laughs> now, I want to be honest, I saw exactly one spoiler Yeah. for this, and it was Susan Twist dancing like that. Um, so, and it was, it was just on TikTok, and I was like, nope, I'm, I'm scrolling past it, but it ingrained itself in my head that she was dancing like Theresa May. I, so, it was a, I saw it, and I immediately thought, oh, they're doing a Theresa May reference. And it was like, okay, that's a bit... Of a deep cut, she was a while ago. Yeah. Well, she's a she's a supposedly powerful woman walking onto a stage with music playing. It's a yes. obvious joke, isn't it? Yeah, she's she's a woman of a certain age and has a certain look to her. Yeah, um, I um, she didn't pull out the Tory power stance, but yeah. well, you know, I would I would like to just highlight here that Susan Triad, who yeah. is her character's name in this episode, mm-hmm. just for just ignore the extra stuff for now. Yeah. Is a tech billionaire. Yes. Right? We tech billionaires of blah, 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 blah. It's, which is, it's part of her speech, right? Yeah. She didn't do the blah, 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 but I can't be asked to remember it all. Now, they reference the other tech billionaire that they haven't got their hands on yet, which is obviously Elon Musk, right? Hang on. It's got to be. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got two points here, so. Where is that? What was the exact context of that? Because I didn't pick up on it being a tech billionaire. I completely forgot on it until now. 
I... Well, they they said something about there being a, a tech. I'm, I'm sure they mentioned it was someone very famously in tech. Some super something to do with some some, yeah. some something about giving out free tech or some whatever it was. It was clearly an Elon Musk reference. I didn't pick up on it being an Elon Musk reference. I think yeah, fair enough. It could well be. I wouldn't whatever that. whatever word it was. I I my immediate thought was that's Elon Musk, mm. and I know I'm not alone in that because I I ended up on the Reddit afterwards because I finished about half hour before you did, mm. and and we were like, oh, it's nice to see the Elon Musk reference there. Yeah. Quote, we'll get him eventually. Was, it was clearly a him, right? We'll get so him they, they, they reference Elon is. Musk in it, and yeah. that's fine. That's fine. But very importantly, tech billionaire. Yeah. Typically speaking, tech billionaires. Tend to be quite famous. Well, so how the fuck does Ruby not know who that is? Ruby's nineteen and she don't give a shit. Uh, I, the average nineteen-year-old right now is going to know who Elon Musk is. True. In Western society, at least, I doubt in the in the fucking depths of Africa they're going to know, or uh, it also in, a, in, yeah. in fucking Guatemala they're going to know. But you know, it's generally speaking, a Western person is going to know who Elon Musk is, and versus going to know who Susan Triad supposedly is. It's probably more noteworthy. Um, for the sheer fact that she's a woman. Well, exactly. A, wo- a woman who came from a very working class background. So, you know, it seems yeah. odd to me that she doesn't know who that is. Personally. Yeah, I sort of, I'm reminded of... Um... See, when I heard that reference about the guy they, they never caught or whatever, um, mm. my first thought, the first thing that popped into my head was uh, Harold Saxon. Uh, mm. I knew it wasn't a reference to that, but that was the first thing that that occurred to me, and uh, I I sort of remember how that was played because you had you know Martha knew who Harold Saxon was, <laughs> um, yeah, and she would thing, because yeah. you know he's this yeah I know that voice wasn't it was that was I don't yeah. know who it was who said I don't yeah know. someone yeah. said I know that voice yeah I um I see your point entirely, and I do feel like maybe a few more episodes in the season would have been able to would have been really beneficial. Um, one of the other things I want to mention is that we've had another time skip, rather noticeably, going right back to the beginning. Um, the Doctor and, and Ruby have since uh, knocked about and uh, keep running into her, and there's a couple of adventures that we haven't seen. Yeah, yeah, uh, I wrote that down. Yes, which was, uh, well, first thing I thought of, Borg and White Walker. Uh, I saw the Borg thing. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't make a White Walker connection. Yeah. Now you mention it, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is sort of interesting to me because it seems like we were like at the. The way I imagine it playing out is that they were sort of beginning to notice that she was popping up, and then they had a few more, and then they probably went around deliberately testing it. You know, Perhaps. Like, let's go yeah. to this. Let's just pick a random fucking place, and we'll see, see if she's there. This. Yeah. This was pointed out. I, I, hate, I know I've criticised before. Was looking at a Reddit thing, but someone mm. pointed out that this is an example of how it's, having having experienced the Bad Wolf and the Torchwood and the Harold Saxon thing previously, mm. he's getting ahead of this one. He's trying to sort it out before it, it jumps him, mm. which I think is a nice way of looking at it. Personally, I don't know if that is necessarily the case. Maybe it's because of those previous things, but it is. It's definitely one of those where he's been proactive about the connections. That he's yeah, in. yeah. Um... I also like uh, what's the I can't remember the actor's name. Is it Lenny? Lenny Kravitz. Yeah. Is that his name? No, it's not, not Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz is a fucking musician. Was that the? Is he? No, mo- God, you don't know. Is he motorhead? Uh, Lenny Kravitz. No, that's Lemmy. And he's dead. Who's Lenny Kravitz? Lenny Kravitz is a fucking musician. I told you he's a musician. I thought. Oh yeah, there he is. Lenny Rush. You're thinking of. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So what, 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 where's fucking Lenny Kravitz come from then? You know. Oh, what? I know it's Lenny Rush. I know because I go, right. I go, <laughs> I googled God. it. You're right. You Google it before you embarrass yourself in front of I, the fourteen I, people who are going to watch. Yes, Jesus. Lenny. Uh, Len, Lenny. Um. Rush. Rush. Yes, he's he's in this. He is. He, he was good on Taskmaster. I I can't fault him for this. I mean, he's only fucking 13, 14 years old, isn't he? But yeah. You know, he's a better actor. I can't than hold him a, I was, but I, I, I like didn't, him. I didn't feel anything towards him. No, no, no. He seemed a bit full of himself. I suppose you would if you were thirteen and working well, in it. Yeah, you? you have every right to be a bit full of yourself if you're thirteen and a fucking genius. Was that about an asteroid? 
Yeah, it's only about an asteroid passing by, and I don't know. I don't know what. Maybe that's there'll be a big Finnish story about it, and probably future doc. The, the next incarnation of a doctor is going to be involved in some way. Probably, you know, when it's... maybe Eccleston's doctor because he does some big Finnish stuff, doesn't he? I think. Yeah, he's not doing too well at the minute. Is he not? No. no, he's a bit disillusioned with the entire profession, really. Um, well, I, but... would be, I suppose, wouldn't you? Yes. Um. Yeah, he was in it and liked him. Um. Uh... Can we? Can we just sorry, go back briefly to Tech Billionaire? Yes. Because there is no way on this planet that anyone giving out free tech to the whole planet isn't a villain act. Isn't like, it what? No, no, it's giving out free tech to everyone on the planet yeah. is absolutely the one thing a villain would do. Right? It's not something a good person would do. Yes. It's not well, something the, the good guy is going to give everyone this this free thing that's going to change your life forever. No, it's not. That's not that's not good guy behaviour. That's bad guy behaviour. Well, certainly in fiction. I mean, they pulled that they pulled that uh, stunt enough times in in a whole variety of things. I mean, the first Alex Ryder novel has a guy giving up free school computers that have got like a modified yeah. version of the smallpox virus in them. You know, so yeah, we're it's, just, it's not it's as, not a good guy thing as consumers of. You know, fiction. We are primed to read that with suspicion, which is sort of sad. Um, no one gives. No, even even if like no one gives you anything for free, right? Yeah. There's, there's a reason. There's a reason Amazon don't give out the Alexa device, right? There's a reason they buy them, not because they're the good guys, but because they know if they were just giving them out for it, then everyone would be suspicious about it, even more than they already are. True. Um, you know, they're already listening in on us with our consent, but at least they've got our consent. What technology was she giving out? Don't know. No, no. Revealed, don't maybe we? it will be touched on in the next episode. I I don't know. Maybe it was something really shit. Like uh, yeah, maybe a new a Bluetooth speaker. It's it's a new sort of spreadsheet yeah. program. It's Excel but better. Excel two point Yes, it's... it'll Excel. It's all your spreadsheet needs. Yes, it uh, it'll sing you a song. I was I was quite pleased that the um, S Triad TARDIS connection was so obvious to everyone else. Yes, I liked that. The <laughs> doctor thinking you were so clever for spotting this thing. It's like, oh well, yeah, that's what the problem is, isn't it, everyone? <laughs> oh, it's that it's an anagram. Yes, if he made the point, <laughs> and they got by God, he's right. <laughs> but no, but it would have really put it down in our estimations, ex- wouldn't it? It's like, yes, we we yes, believe it or not, we did pick up on that. He um. He mentioned, and I know we're not quite touched on it yet, but he mentioned we got the wrong anagram yeah. later on. It's not an anagram. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It is. No, it's, where's the fucking K in Susan Triad Technologies? In your bum. I don't fucking know. No, it doesn't. It's not fucking there, Ben. It's not an anagram. Is that your problem with that scene? Because I, I thought it was one of those scenes where they were like putting a load of emphasis on it so we would go, oh, my God. But I just looked at that and went, that's silly. It, it, I mean, the whole thing is fucking silly, isn't it? But, Wait, like, he, Sue he Tech? Just... Sue Tech? Oh, my God. But the fact that he said <laughs> it was a, the wrong anagram, and it's not a fucking anagram. Well, I'm sorry you're so racist. <laughs> it was, but that's a fucking racist. Fuck off. <laughs> the fact that the fact that the, the C becomes a K, yeah. right? It's a reason that it's not. An anagram, and if, if if it was spelt with the C instead of a K, I'd have no issue with it. Okay, right. But well, I mean, come on, I'm glad come we've, on. we've cleared that up. Ah, oh, just uh, fucking anagrams that aren't anagrams. <laughs> um, bastards. We got Mrs. Flood Black. We got what? Sorry, Mrs. Flood. No, no it's because you, you you initially said Mrs. Flood Black. You see, and yeah. I was trying to catch you out for it because that's the exact fucking thing that you do if it was me. So. Yes, she did. Yes, yes. Um, I would have done that to you. Uh, you would absolutely. Have. Yes, fair <laughs> enough. But you would have been easier to wind up, so I'm just going to let it roll off me. Um, yeah. Yes, uh, Mrs. Flood is back. Um, and evil, maybe? Question mark. Yeah, I mean, it's not a certain yet, is it? She's but, not uh, in any I room mean, to I... make tea. No, she's not. Sherry's not getting her fucking tea, is she? I'll tell you what, though. It was she. She did two things. One, when I wrote down about Mrs. Flood, I wrote bam, bam, bam. Yes, with, with three exclamation marks. Oh my god! But she also wrote. I didn't see also. Wrote, she also said, 
we all want a lot of things we're not going that aren't going to happen or something along those lines mm. right that's what i wrote down we all want mm. a lot of things that aren't going to happen um and i can't help but wonder if that was a nod to the audience who have had so many theories about what's going to happen Possibly. and whether that might be a very subtle like we're not all going to get what we want yeah i mean you know it would it, 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 i get that it might not be. It could very easily not be. It could just be her saying, everyone's going to die, so no one's going to get what they want. Right? Felt... It's a whole bad guy vibe. Is killing, yeah. Isn't it? But I am... Um... It, uh, it felt kind of bittersweet to me, um, which sort of plays into the idea I have for a while that she is Susan. Hmm. Um, and I like the idea of Susan coming back as a vengeful force. I'm pissed off at the Doctor. I think we talked about this last time. I don't know whether they'll go down that route. We'll have to see. Um, but yes, it, it's clear that Mrs. Flood definitely is playing a part in things. Her voice changed. She went all posh. I'm serious. Oh, heavens. I can't believe you're divorcing me. What? No, I was laughing, I was just going posh and suggesting a surprise at being divorced. I hope you weren't referencing EastEnders. Cause she... Of course I was referencing EastEnders. Well, she famously never said anything in that scene, and also... Well, I famously don't give a fuck. <laughs> had a Cockney accent, but whatever. If you... Okay. Um... But she went all posh, didn't she? <laughs> um, yes, I, uh, yeah, the whole Susan, Susan... I, I'm glad Susan's a thing. You know, I'm glad yeah. To, yeah, we're definitely doing thing. something with Susan. Well, potentially. It could have just been a... I mean, there's every chance it was a red herring. There is every yeah. chance we're not getting Susan. You know where you would find a herring, don't you? In the sea. In, in in a large body of water of some description. And you know when we'd find a large body of water in the middle of London, wouldn't you? If it flooded. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> yes. Anyway. Uh, yeah, there's, you... there, there's, there's every chance we're not, we're not getting uh, Susan, um, which would be would... a shame. Would, would you like to hazard a guess at the one thing in this episode that made me laugh? I laughed at one particular thing in this episode. I had to double check something. I paused it, double checked something, and then I laughed. I don't know. How far away was the CCTV camera? Was it 73 yards? It was, they said 66 metres. Uh huh. Now, 73 yards is 66.7 metres. But you're not going to get it exactly how many metres away. Are you? Well, you would if, so you, I can't help if you but Googled feel like it. it was... If that was intentional, you would have Googled it, presumably. Or... I, I, I mean, I Googled it, yeah, but like they're not going to say, oh, it was 7 metres. They'd, yeah. they'd say 66 or 67 metres. Well... Unit, the people saying this, how, how far the camera was away, they wouldn't say the exact number of metres to the, to the decimals, would they? They'd round it to one of them. I guess. I mean, so I, I can't... I, I, it was probably a reference to the episode. Maybe it's intentional, and maybe Ruby's mother is Ruby. That's why no one could make out the face. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh, that's yeah. all we fucking need. I mean, she did... Did she point... Did Ruby... Ruby, Old Ruby point? I don't think she did. She just sort of did the weird Macarena thing, didn't she? Yeah. Sign language. Yeah. That meant absolutely nothing in that episode, which was... Nothing of consequence, yeah. Fucking but no, weird. I laughed once I saw... Once I saw that it was 66, mm. it was effective. Three yards. Mm. Um, um, yeah. Yes. Uh, I... I... Susan Triad he keeps having these dreams, doesn't she? Yeah. Why? Well, Again, it's probably going to be revealed in the next episode, but I imagine Susek, who, spoiler alert, is the main villain, um, which we'll come on to, I'm sure, uh, yeah, is at some point. probably <laughs> using her as to entice. Again, it's going to be it's going to be covered. Um, just, I, I don't know, the questions you have after a, the first part of a two-parter, I suppose. How does it all come into play? Let's hope they resolve it well. Well, I mean, I'm just thinking, where have we seen the the different versions of Susan and how much death has there been there? So obviously we saw her in Boom, mm. which makes sense. Mm. Makes a lot of sense. As War Zone. Death going on there. Yeah. So in Dot and Bubble, and a lot of people died in that one. Yeah. Uh, I can't really think of anyone actually dying in um, Space Babies. All really 73 yards. 
Um, I mean, obviously, people probably died over the span of 40 years, but it wasn't really a big deal. Was Anyone died. But she was also the... Um... She was in the bar. She was one of the patrons in the pub that Ruby was performing. Yeah, so no, maybe maybe not anything to do with dying, then I suppose. But or maybe that was just things. Susan Triad. Just letting her hair yeah, down, I'm going right. out for a night. Well, her mum was a dinner lady, wasn't she? What? She said her mum was a dinner lady. Yeah? Yeah, she what her mum was some uh, dinner lady. Her dad was a postman. What? Postman, that's it. So maybe, maybe actually, she just looks a hell of a lot like her mum, and that was her mum in that canteen. Who was an elderly <laughs> pump crocker? Oh no, in the canteen. Oh, I know, I know who you mean. Maybe. Yeah, yeah it's possible. I don't, I don't think that would be the case. But he didn't see it. That wasn't a reference. That wasn't one of those that he mentioned, was it? Cause he doesn't doesn't give a shit about the working classes. Yeah. He didn't see her face. They, they were no, looking didn't. away from her. No. So you know. But anyway, yeah. I think he probably went back and double checked because. Uh, how did you get that picture of the portrait and uh, the recordings from the Space Webs episode and stuff like that? Well, I figure he pro after he realised it was like, okay, let's let's retrace our steps and see what we can find. And they probably went back there like a week afterwards and uh, took a photo of it. Is it? Makes I sense. mean, I mean, realistically, those things will be on some galactic archive somewhere, surely. I don't know. Like it's maybe. A, if it's a portrait in a in a in a stately home somewhere, mm. it's, there's going to be a picture of it on the internet. If that's a, a woman who works for a particular company that we know that they had they that's, did some sort of protest about it, didn't they? When they resigned, or when they quit, when they left the station, they had a protest. So that'd be on some sort of news network. Okay, somewhere. but how did they get the video chat to Lindy from her mum? That's a good question, but that, I, well, do, I, they, were, see, they were on their own devices, weren't they? When they were, they were in that, they were in a call, right? So maybe it's just being recorded as standard. No, I think it makes far more sense. I mean, it doesn't matter at all, but I mean, I, it makes sense to me that they went back and just scooped up all this evidence. You know, that while they were having that call in Dot and Bubble, they were also orbiting the planet, recording it. And you see, it, I, whatever. I, I'm, I'm willing to believe that, but I, I, I would like to see the argument when he's like, when, when, when he's like, oh no, we can't go back to when you were dropped off. We can't go back to just before or just after. <laughs> yes, I was, I was there because yeah. of reasons, you know. Because he would absolutely kick off about you if yeah. they're going to these places they've already been, and he's like, oh, we can't go where I've been. Yeah, so, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I can hand wave that away because the implication being that he would, I. Yeah, I, I get your point, uh, but yeah, they could definitely just go half an hour after the fact. I don't understand it. It's the sort of thing I just chalk up to time. Is, time is immensely more complex than we can possibly imagine, and time will just know this shit, so best just go along with it. He don't know fuck all. He's making it as he goes along. He barely even passed. Well, the smartest people always do, don't they? Well. Um, That's a secret of genius, Jordan. In hey, intuitive hey. intuition. Kate had a, a bit of a change of mood during this episode. I don't know if you noticed it, if you picked up on it. What, because she was annoyed that w one of her people died? Well, she specifically said, you bring joy to him, right? To me, in, oh, from, from where I see it, you bring joy. And then that fucking death glare, when, when Rady had died, it's like, you fucking, you've done it again, haven't you? You've got one of my people killed. I mean, I think Kate needs to get a fucking grip. Yeah, frankly, I mean, it's a dangerous gig. Everybody knows what they're doing. You know, everybody. I mean, knows, he took a gun in there. Everybody, so knows. everybody knows what they're getting into, right? Everybody has signed the dotted line. Everybody knows the risks. You know, you can there be was, sad, but it's just it's just the way it goes sometimes. It's it got me, and I know this is a sidetrack, but you'll you'll appreciate it afterwards. They, I was watching an episode of Buffy this last few days and uh. there was a bunch of people who had been sent from England to capture a, a, a bad slayer right and mm. they said they made a point of saying that they get their affairs in order before they leave just in case of an accident uh -huh. on the job and I can't help but wonder if unit maybe have something similar going on they've definitely got there's definitely something like that I might it's, whatever I think of unit I sort of think of the SCP foundation Maybe. Yeah, I mean, that's reasonable. They've yeah. probably got something in place where if you die on the job, your family is basically set for life and they'll put all your affairs in order. They've got like a legal team who will help you with stuff constantly and they do yeah. like mon what, monthly is, yeah. reviews of everything. So you go and you sit down for an hour and you just say, Do you want to, you know, make any amendments to your will or whatever? You know, 
They've God, got how many, money. How many people work at a fucking unit? They've got <laughs> money coming out of their asses. That place. I've got to spend it on whatever the hell they can get. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, f- bouquet. Um, apology baskets. Condolences. Letters yeah. and stuff. For the, and- the union flag in <laughs> it uh, tri- trifolded, ready for everyone to yes. to to have a. Special delivery from yes. a, for unit postman. Ten thousand baskets of condolence muffins on standby yeah, at all times. So I, I would not want to be that baker who has to make <laughs> them fresh. Every- oh no, you would. That's probably some other companion. <laughs> it's what pushing his job <laughs> in <Yes>. fucking <laughs> baking. You'll get one hundred and thirty thousand pounds a year plus benefits and uh, a month <laughs> off whenever you want plus holidays. Uh, brilliant. <laughs> Yeah. Um, they mentioned the trickster, which was nice because a lot of people have mentioned it well, they, was impossible. They mentioned a lot, didn't they? I mean, yes. They did. I, but I okay. Th- let's get to the main villain here because I I mentioned that I had come across a couple of spoilers. Yeah, you did. Well, I came across three. One was Rose returning, which I for, I can't remember. I remember that being in one of the many teaser things. I don't remember it being in the main. I could have sworn it was, but I tell you what, I'm going to I'm going to put it on now on my end. Possible, I'm going to mute right. it for that because I I could have sworn it was. Um, that was one oh. of them. Another one was uh, uh, I saw a YouTube thumbnail with Mrs. Flood looking out the window, and I thought, oh fucking hell, don't spoil this. And then I made the mistake of checking Twitter for the first time in like ages, and uh, saw look. Doctor Who trending hashtag Sutek. Now I uh, I was an, I was aware that we were getting a returning villain. I was not. For some reason it was reported that it was a villain that hadn't been seen since the John Pertwee era. Well, Sutek was in it's a Tom. Not true. Sutek was in a Tom Baker episode. So fuck you. It's true. Um, Sutek was indeed in Tom Baker. There were there was another a number of uh, of suggestions. One, as he rightly said, was a trickster that that was going to be a big thing. Uh, I had a thought that it might be Omega. He's like a renegade, renegade time lord god type thing, and um, I, I stand corrected. It was she, uh, Rose wasn't in the thing, so I don't know how I found out Rose was in. Was it, in I don't remember seeing any specific spoilers. It was so in right. one of the additional teaser things. Um, see, I don't watch any of it. I don't see any of it actively. Yeah, I avoid I, everything. Again, so. I um, yes, I I thought Sutek was a good a guess as any, and I was glad to see him come back. Uh, now one of the one of the concerns I had was that they wouldn't get the voice right. Because I haven't, I haven't. Oh, they managed to get that right, didn't they? For good reason. Well, I haven't. Yeah. Well, I, I as I will say now, uh, I haven't seen Pyramids of Mars, but I have seen bits and pieces. And one of the most memorable things about that character is the voice. It's uh, wonderful and smooth, and and manages to uh, convey a great deal of evil without a great deal of effort. Um. Mm. Also, instantly, the voice of the beast in uh, the Impossible Planet, um, and that was one of my concerns. Uh, in the Pyramids of Mars, Sutek spends a lot of time just sitting down and being evil, but it works because mm. of the voice. Uh, you understand that this is a being of immense power. Um, so I was very concerned that they would muck that up, but I was pleasantly surprised uh, when I heard the voice because I thought it was great, and I made the point mm. of checking the credits because I thought. I didn't know who it was, and, and for some reason Timothy Dalton came into my head, and it, it was a hmm. bit of a Timothy Dalton bent to it. Uh, but no, it was Gabriel Wolf, who was the original voice of Sutek, which is fucking great. And, and who was the, the voice of the Beast? Yes, as I said. No, no, but you, you said that you liked the voice, you didn't say that they were the same actor. No, I did. You did. I mean, you just now mentioned that it was the actor. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I did. Yeah, I did say that the voice. Who also it was also the same voice as the voice of the beast. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yes. Uh, so really very glad to see him back. Uh, yeah, it's, it's probably the one thing you've got to get right with that character is the voice, and they got it right. Um, so yeah. Do you well, wanna... I mean, you've got all else to do, have you? If you if you're playing that character, because it's all CG. Well, yes. <laughs> I hope. If you look at the voice, what are you doing there? You might as well have someone. Yeah, do. I hope it's not a giant jackal monster chasing people. No, it'd be disappointing if it is. I hope they do something of a little more, you know, nebulous and and sinister and monstrous, like that cloud of death. That was pretty dope. 
Yeah. In the in the not the yes. holodeck. I keep wanting to call it the holodeck, the time gate. Time window. Time window. It it does seem potentially um quite ineffective. Like it's quite slow to kill people in that way. But that's half the fun. Well, I mean not if you not if you're going around killing lots of people with an intent to take out the whole universe. Well, no, is, if you take too long, there might be a chance they can stop you. You want to sort of get it done, don't he's you? He's not doing it individually. You know, oh, yeah, no, doing... he's not doing it yet. <laughs> but uh, no, it's a, it's a sadistic thing. You know, We're that... taking lessons from a bloody dot and bubble thing. The guy thought he was in hell. You're going to send fucking slugs after people. So, yeah, I, I'm I'm very much pleased to take his back. Wish it had been seeded a little bit. More than just Sue Tech. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I one of the most memorable villains. Don't fuck it up, please. Because uh, Sue Tech was great. And um, it makes sense that he is the one who waits and he's the the king of the gods of this dark pantheon. Mm. Um, so, yeah, loving that. Um, and I like uh, I like the um, Har- Harbinger. 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 Harbinger, how are you going to Harbinger it? lady and her speech. Harvey Warbanger. Yes, Harvey Warbanger, which I thought was great. Um, very, it, again, it reminded me of the bit in the beat in the Impossible Planet where all the you are like, um, you, well, know, you see, their chat. I, lo- I love that. I, that was right on my fucking street. I have seen some suggestion that they are one and the same. Yes. And when you consider, I know you haven't seen it and I haven't seen Pyramids of Mars either. No. But the supposed climax of that is that Sutek is trapped for supposedly all eternity somewhere, mm. and surely a planet that is orbiting a black hole would be a perfect place to... Now, that isn't where there was... A... It was supposedly in a pyramid on Earth somewhere, mm. but which is a ridiculous fucking place to... When you when you consider how many people fucking check out pyramids, right? Yeah. But it, it, I mean, it's, it wouldn't be that big a change to the law considering some of the other stuff we've had. I don't know. I, feel I, I can see it being retcon, so they are one and the same, but that was certainly not the intention in, in the uh, Impossible Planet episode. Oh, it God, was, no. It was no, its no. own separate thing, uh, but certainly the ref yeah. when um, Ruby's mum said, oh, it's the beast, hmm. they was like, oh, is that a reference or is that like a genuine thing? Um... um the um the sixty six meters yeah. uh, some people have suggested might be a reference to the number. Um obviously the number of a beast is six two six, isn't it? Not six six six. Yeah, but the, I mean everybody on. knows it is six six six. But I would say that sixty six sounds more like six two six than it does six six six. So I'm willing to I'm willing to accept it. <laughs> If it is relevant. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it is, but I'm willing to accept it. Um, but again, the fact that they've got the same voice actor for for two roles does seem indicative. Nah. Unless that is itself a red herring. They uh it was I think it was it was I think it was just uh Gabriel Wolf at that point was known for doing Sutek so well. They had another similar, you know, monstrous god type thing. He has the right quality. Let's get Let's get Gabriel Wolf. You know, I don't think it was. These are meant to be the same person. You could no, probably no, consider no, it no, like that. I don't absolutely, know, I don't know. categorically, probably wasn't the case back then. No, I, I don't think they were. Um... But it, there, there is enough reference and feel and vibe for it to to be a retcon. Mm. That was that. That was the end of that. Sutek survives whatever encounter we're having because he dies then. Sort of thing. I don't know. I feel like the doctor would probably pick up that it's Sutek. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I mean, you think you think of a villain's been beaten. You you don't think, and it, it's changed shape in such a way. You're not necessarily going to recognise him, mm. are you? Let's. Um... Did you ever see Sutek in the eyes? He was wearing a mask, wasn't he? Oh yeah, he was sitting on his throne wearing a wearing a mask. Um. So you know, you, you look him in the eyes and recognise. Not if I'm wearing a mask. Where, uh, I'm trying to see if I can find that speech. Which one? The the what the heart what Harriet Arbinger. 
while you're looking, uh, I, I've only actually got two points. Um, and one of them was that for a very brief period of time, I thought the, the TARDIS might have gone evil. Um, mm. And I was like, I've had enough of this bullshit. <laughs> if I can mm. drag me about, leave me the parking brake on, come on. Yes, fine, he used to think I was sexy. Now he doesn't even look at me the same. You know, just fed up a bit now. Yeah. And as such was... But I'm, I'm, I'm quite pleased that isn't the way it's gone. No, I, I don't really understand what... Um... Well, I mean, the, the, the assumption is that Susan has latched on to the TARDIS at yeah. some point. And, again, when would be a big question. Uh, well, presumably the bit in Wild Blue Yonder, when they're on the edge well, of that, the universe, I guess. I don't know. That is absolutely uh, one, of the, one of the possibles, isn't it? The boundaries of the, the, the walls of reality with a little bit of and all that nonsense. Mm. Mm. I um yes, but uh, I I put Susan uh, triad is uh, presumably dead. She aged horribly in those last few minutes. Yes, and um, Oof. <laughs> yeah, yes. Have oh, you found this speech? Yes, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Right. Uh, okay, it's not really the speech. But, um... Okay. Oh, he's always in a rush, uh, isn't he? Other, known, <laughs> other known members include... This is just taken from the details. Uh, Mara... Okay, what's that from? No, Mara is the... Um... That's from prose, okay. Reprobate. What's this? Okay. Uh, incensor. Uh, got a disaster. Uh, the threefold deity of malice and mischief and misery. Doubt, dread. Uh, the toy maker, maestro, Krampus, apparently gone to a comic. That's okay. Well, I'd like to see. I'd like to see if I can find the speech. Um. I do wish you'd do a bit. I wish you'd found it before we started. Well, I was, I was rushing. It's fine. I probably won't find it because it's probably not available yet. Nobody's bothered to probably put it up. Though. Uh, I was too busy, you know. I mean, she the character doesn't even have her own um, page on the wiki. When I click on her name, it goes to the, the Maestro's Harbinger. But anyway, yes, I uh, I really did like that speech. It was well up my street. And uh, yes, good setup for the next time. So that'll be interesting. Um, uh, have I got anything else to add? Probably. Fred, when you talk about a good setup for next time, uh, it struck me that there wasn't a uh, a teaser at the end of this episode. No, I seem I can't I can never remember whether they never do them in two parters. Did they, they have previously done them. Yeah, but at times they haven't. I know I know for uh, I'm certain when I was a kid I watched a two parter or a couple of two parters and there wasn't a teaser. So it always sort of threw me off whether there would be one. I think it tends to be later in the credits that it pops up. Okay. Um, I I I stuck. I could have sworn I waited till the end. So I did too, and it didn't. It didn't pop up. Okay. But as I, I say, I, that's not unusual. Uh, it feels unusual to me. I I know I, I. I wouldn't have expected it to be overly revealing. I would have expected it to be mostly shocks, shocked views, and shocked faces, oh and dramatic God. music. Yeah. But I was still expecting something. Empire of Death. Empire of Death. Kiva Doki Who. Next time, Empire of Death. Right, here we go. I am the night. The terror. The earth is dying. I did this. I swear to you, with both the hearts of the last of the Time Lords.
I will stop you. Okay, yeah, it's just end of the world shit. Um, Nothing major. Yeah, big sandstorm coming. So, yeah, is that? I mean, you... all this supposed teaser that I'm watching now is. I mean, ninety percent of it is stuff from this episode that we've just watched. Uh. <laughs> well, so it doesn't really help. <laughs> it looks like it's the end of the world. Essentially, I look forward to that being retconned. Yeah. And Doctor goes back uh, and awful. stops Susan Twist from being born. Um, well, of course. I mean, you know. Yeah. He has to kill a milkman or a postman or whatever and stop it. Definitely. Um, so, in front of a bus. You got any thoughts on uh, who R Ruby's mum is? No. Nope. No, me neither. Not as you're on that first. Could be Susan. It's not that big a deal to me. Um, Mrs. Flood, I, yeah, we we don't have any indication of who this boss person is. I can hardly imagine it's Sue Tech. No, no, it's probably not anything. It, it, it could well have just been a throwaway again. No, it I wasn't. Away. It was delete. No, because in that what in the one with the beep the meep. I know. I know. Delivery said, "Oh, that's enigmatic." So it's definitely coming up, but it. it I don't know, maybe it's Susan. I don't fucking know. No, I'm, maybe, I'm... maybe the fact that it was highlighted as being any... No. One of those, you expect there to be something. And actually, it, just, it, it doesn't matter. It's when have they anymore. ever done that? I mean, I guarantee you there will be times where they've alluded to stuff and it hasn't happened. Yeah. It'll be, if it does happen, it's not going to be one of these side stories. Well, it'll, maybe... it'll be a comic series arc or something. It's no, not gonna... it'll be something next series, I imagine. Uh, we'll see. We'll right, see. it'll be four Christmases from now when David Tennant's back again. No, then it's going to pop up. Um, Bruce Springsteen walks on. Do you... I've already made that joke and you hated it. I know, we've made it before. We've both made that joke previously. Um, yes, so... Uh, yeah, uh, have you got anything else to add? No, I was dead about five minutes ago. Oh, right. <laughs> Well, so yeah, you liked this episode. Yeah, it was all right. Why did you like it? There was enough going on that I felt interested in what was happening next. It hasn't happened for a lot of this series. Yeah, we've got a good good villain. Great villain. One of the best I mean, I don't have any real attachment to this villain. Doctor Who. I mean, I've been, you know, it's just a villain. It's just a bad guy. It's a big name thrown around. It doesn't really mean anything to me. Well, and uh, what's good is when uh, the Harbinger was listing off a load of Pantheon of Discord, it sounds like there's a lot we can play with. So that'll be fun seeing them pop up every now and then, I should think. Big finish rubbing their hands together again. Yep. But um yes, we'll see you next time for the finale. Yes, bye everyone. Bye. <laughs>